I started a brand new Clash Royale account to see how many trophies I could get on it by copying my opponent's deck every single game. So I beat the tutorial and named my account Steel D's Nuts and started my pushing. At the start, everyone has the same deck, so copying my opponent's deck after every single game didn't change my deck at all. So 43 minutes in, I reached Bone Pit with no problem. Yes! 300 trophies exactly. In this challenge, it gets harder as it goes along because as my opponents unlock more cards, it means I will have to level up those cards as well, which uses my golden magic items. But if I don't have a card in my opponent's deck unlocked, I continue using my previous deck I copied. And this was extremely annoying because literally every single game I was playing against Prince, which isn't unlocked until 2,000 trophies. They must have got it from Epic Sunday in the shop. What? Dude, again? It's actually ridiculous. Then I reached level four, which is important because I unlocked magic items and more importantly, wild cards, which were gonna be crucial for leveling up cards I copy that are lower level later. Is that level four? Poggers, magic items, hell yeah. I then reached level five and two hours in, I reached a thousand trophies with a pretty similar deck to the starting one due to the lack of variety of cards and also lack of brain cells from my opponents to make a creative deck. Hey, that's a thousand trophies, exactly as well. Nice, dude. I knew that card levels were eventually gonna hold Hold me back as more and more cards needed to be upgraded so whenever i got the choice between two different cards on trophy road i would always choose the one that i would rather play in a copied deck because if i don't have the other one unlocked then i stick with the previous deck i have and it's not like i could just not unlock cards i don't want to play either because otherwise i'm just not going to open chess and then i'm not going to get my cards leveled up and three hours in is where i copied my weirdest deck yet with double pekka and had a very close match in spell valley cool he actually might three crown me He's going to three crown me. No! Okay. Go. Go, Pekka. One more, one more, one more. Oh my god, please. Please! One more! Yes! My opponents must have had really random decks in Spell Valley because I didn't have any of the cards they had unlocked. So for 15 minutes, I continued battling with this double Pekka deck and had another close call in Spell Valley with it. Go? Okay, that doesn't do enough. Ooh! Ooh! All right, we're fine. Relax. I'm just going to do this. Hopefully he doesn't play a tank in the middle. All right, we win. What a comeback. Pretty close, pretty close for Spell Valley. And after that game, I opened a magical chest, only unlocked one card and was genuinely really confused in why this challenge, all challenges, I wasn't unlocking many new cards at all. I have a ton of cards in lower arenas, meaning that I can't play a lot of these decks that I haven't unlocked. And for some reason, I'm actually not unlocking them. Like I'm not able to play decks if I don't unlock cards. What is going on? And clearly I was struggling a little bit too much already in Spell Valley. So I decided to upgrade a ton of my cards and I think I accidentally hit level six. Oh, wait, did I reach level six? Just then wait did i oh no oh yes okay i don't know why it popped out so late but okay cool and i was opening the past royale chest and i didn't expect this to happen i do want to get archers up as well so if that's doable that would be great oh what legendary in a crown chest of course it's minor god damn it nerf minor i swear i always get minor but weirdly i think a lot of other players were getting minor at this trophy range because i was playing a lot of opponents that were using minor and because i just unlocked him i was able to copy their decks which was good because as much of a joke as minor is he's level nine which is four levels higher than some of my cards at this point i can copy that right kind of want another witch honestly on a stack all right paste yes i can use his deck because he has minor then four hours on the dot i finally got out of spell valley and reached builder's workshop builder's workshop let's go and I unlocked the perfect thing just after reaching this arena, which was card masteries. And this was really important for me at this point because I was actually really struggling for gold. And this is exactly what I needed. That's what we needed. Level seven, card masteries. Finally, that's going to be helpful. I actually need gold for some reason. Okay, that's kind of tight. I actually really need gold in this challenge. So compared to Spell Valley, I was cruising through this arena and I was already at the final trophy road reward in this arena, which was the legendary chest. And I bet you can guess what I got. Legendary chest. Okay, card masteries, relax. Can I open my chest thank you oh i didn't actually just get a wild card for once in my life and it's another minor i hate this game after five hours of pushing i was now one win away from 2000 trophies and i had matched a guy with casually level 10 cards which is just the best thing ever and he even laughed at me when he thought he won the game until i hit him with the 2000 iq play miss miss yes he laughed yeah unlucky mate come on Get some damage, boys. All right. 
go. Okay, he did use his log. Oh, he's going for the kill here. Go for the... No. That thing is level 10! Are you joking? So dumb, bro. On a stack, I'm still triggered about that game. But we made it to 2,000 trophies anyway. Yeah, baby. Royal Arena achieved. 2,000 trophies. So even though I unlocked Masteries a while back, I still have to win five games with each card to unlock their first Mastery tier. And it wasn't until this moment that this finally happened. And this helped me to stop struggling so much. Oh, yes. This is just what I need. My first Masteries. I've been needing gold to upgrade stuff. Okay, the Masteries are coming in so clutch right now. So after making some upgrades, I copied my last opponent Wallbreaker cycle slash not even really a cycle deck and I was still struggling against this weird balloon deck because he had level 10 cards and like a million counters to my only win condition being wall breakers. Okay, the Valkyrie was meant to tank, but that's fine. Mini Pekka is level 10 and absolutely decimating me. That was clutch. Clutch as heck. Surely. Oh, that was Giga Chad level play. That was God. Wait, am I going to get three crowned? <gasps> Every game in Royal Arena was an absolute grind. I was in that arena for an obscene amount of time. And almost seven hours in, I was so relieved to be finally safe in Frozen Pig. Just feels good just getting away from seeing that arena. I've been stuck around this range for so long. I was struggling back at 2,000 trophies. And now I was at 2,300 trophies and still barely able to win any games. So I knew 4,000 trophies wasn't possible because of card levels and having to change decks so often. But I was even struggling just to make it out of this arena. So I did everything I could to just upgrade my cards my opponents used a lot to get to level eight yes that's me at level eight i need this bro i need this right now come on yes okay another legendary it's gonna be minor though it just will okay it's gonna say you don't understand the level of torture it is to lose to over leveled players like in this game i thought i had a comfortable lead with both of his crown towers down and i just needed to hold off to win and then he did this what I almost just... Wait. Did I just lose? No. No! Are you joking, bro? So I knew what I had to do. I had to equip the Giga Chad jacket. The Giga Chad... Oh, now we're prepared. Now I was ready, and shortly after I reached Jungle Arena. Jungle Arena! That's what I do know. Achieve. I do not understand how people obtain the level of cards they do in these low arenas without ever being able to climb trophies because I was really struggling because I was literally versing some guy with level 12 cards. That is level 12. We are in jungle arena and I am versing level 12 cards. But I was barely winning and somehow made it to two games away from jungle arena. No game was easy at this point because my deck sucked and my card levels were trash. And with 30 seconds left in this game, my right tower had a thousand HP and I desperately cycled goblin barrels and fireballs hoping to clutch this one up. We're getting some, some cheeky chips here. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but... Okay, he has Barb Barrel, so we're going to go for the Duke. Princess on the bridge, trying to get any damage we can. Oh, one. Come on. Surely. Princess is still on the tower. I think we just won. Oh my god, what a clutch up, dude. Against Pekka and Mega Knight. And that put me one game away from Hog Mountain and reaching the goal of 3,000 trophies. And so for my final game, I thought I was going to have to play the last deck I copied because my opponent had Mega Knight, which I obviously didn't have and would have loved to use. So I decided to unlock my final tier in the past royale to give this Goblin Barrel deck I just won with all the highest levels I could for my final game. But then something unexpected happened. All right, we're going to go all out. We're going to use everything we've got. we got to finish this off. Oh! What? No way. Okay, we just got Mega Knight somehow. So for our final game, we can actually probably play his deck. Yep, we can play his deck with Mega Knight. Oh my god. And I can level it up as well. And then I can Book of Books it as well. 
Oh my god. So with that unexpected turn, I went in for my final game. And despite having Mega Knight, it was still so intense. Okay, this is looking hot. From Mega Knight drop. He's wasted that as well. He's going to play his Valkyrie. Oh, on the tower. The panic Valkyrie comes down, but it's too late. 27 HP. Do I even have a spell? Dear God, I better. Triple Elixir just saved me. Come on, no! Oh my God. I don't have a spell. Please. Oh my God. I don't know if he has a spell either. Why is it coming down to the wire? Oh, he does have a spell. It doesn't do enough damage. Please, Mega Knight, just win it for me. His towers are so low. Oh my god, am I going to win on... Wait, that's in the middle. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, I'll take it. I... We'll take that. Holy God, that was so exhausting. But we did it. We did it. 3K. Oh God, I don't need, I don't want to do one of these multiple deck challenges again, man. What type of boys do you like? I don't like boys, okay guys? I like men.